Anyway, we're gonna play Dredge today. Um, it's gonna be really chill, nice, fun, relaxing, and also uh, very unsettling. That's uh, that's effectively this. <laughs> Dredge, a single-player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent. There we go. And I'll be giving a copy of the game away later today. There you go. Published by Team 17. Developed by Black Salt Games. There's an auto save. Alright. Settings. English tutorials. Yeah, I'll leave tutorials on. Metrics, reflections, accessibility, emphasis, color. Oops. Positive color, important color, negative, relaxed fishing mode. Enable this if you're having difficulty completing the fishing or dredging mini games. With this setting enabled, it might take a bit longer, but you'll always successfully complete the mini game. Ooh. Choose between having to hold the radial menu button or letting it act as a toggle. Um, I think I'll toggle it to be honest. Turning dead zone, motion smoothing. <laughs> Let's max that out. Add smoothing to the way the camera moves with the waves. This can help with motion sickness. If you're still feeling motion sick, try disabling chromatic aberration. Controls the color effects that are added to the screen when your character becomes panicked in game. Ah, I'll leave that on for now, but yeah, put motion smoothing right up. Pop up. How long pop-up notifications display for? Let's see. Changes how quickly dialogue text is displayed. Camera, all your usual stuff. Recent a behavior. Camera shake. We'll we'll turn that turn that off. I don't like camera shake. Hello element. Character voices. Controls. Alright. We're gonna go on a fishing trip. It's gonna be a nice, fun time for all. Job listing, Angler Wanted. I've been looking forward to this game for a while. Ever since they revealed the first trailer, uh, to be honest. <laughs> You know me, I'm a sucker for Lovecraftian horror. And also fishing. <laughs> have you fished? I have not fished IRL before. Uh, I've been crab fishing with no success <laughs> when I was a child. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been with people who are fishing, but I wasn't actually fishing, if that makes sense. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock when you where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the Great Maru. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. I'm just going to clear my throat. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah oh, well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Alright, let's go. Cabin, pursuits, catch fish for the day. Alright, we just gotta complete these little tutorials. I gotta spin the camera around, sorry about this. There we go. Move to fishing spot. Look, I got a blue 
a blue fishing rod because I I pre-ordered the game on PlayStation. If you pre-order it on Xbox, you get like a green one. Steam, I think you get a black one. Uh, Switch, you get a red. And I think on GOG, you get purple, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. So, yeah, let's fish. Blue mackerel. Oh, messed that up. Wow. Alright, we depleted that place. PC's humming. Oh, I think I know why. Maybe? No? Don't know. I need to catch five of these. I got a trophy cut size. That's 1.13. That's what that little gold section was. Okay. Time early advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Uh, that's shallow. I can't fish in shallow areas yet. That's probably shallow. Oh, look, there's a message in a bottle over there. Cabin encyclopedia. Yeah, well, Cliff, so it gives you all the information. Look, they ha there's three aberrations, like, her fish. That is a lot. Volcanic invite. Oh, look, there's two. There's only two on these ones. There's only one of them. Interesting. Okay. Crabs and a giant crab. There's a hot volcanic area? Whoa. Alright, alright. Let's, let's not look at too many of the fish. <laughs> we'll spoil it for ourselves. Sun is setting. Added to cabin. What's this? Messages. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. The day we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Great Amaro. I love the rocks here. The layers and colours are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat, la boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy rename renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to form it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept a keychain, Ocean's Riches. It was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the breakfast half hidden beneath a, a blanket on the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Sounds like a bad idea. Oh, it's the, um, it's the right unlock stick for that one. Flick your lights, holding L1, then toggle to squ toggle them. Square lights keep you. Oh, I don't have lights yet. I think that's one. Cosmic sushi. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> it's getting dark. Oh, there we go. So. You have to like do this and then do it afterwards. Oh, okay. Well, 
I'll tell I'll tell you now, Element. There are sea monsters. <laughs> you step onto the dock of Greater Marrow, and the mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds to ha on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Hello, Bizarro. Uh, sell the fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Let's go to the fishmonger. We're into a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. Hmm. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a, f a, a new one so fast. Um, what happened to the other one? He... He takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns and other islands might pay you different, but while you've still got it outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying, off, uh, paying it off first. Mm. Let's see what you got. Let's sell all of the fish. Alright, we've got 122 and $10 and debt adjusted down to 21 I believe. Let's find out. Mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's stall. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make use of something out. But do you take it? I will. The storage? Uh, no, I'll just, I'll just take it with me for now. Oh, one last thing. A local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Yes. It is indeed a Lovecraftian fishing game, yes. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. Introductions. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favours around here. Payment is up front and everything takes time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around, just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay, right. What have we got here? We have $122. I need a fishing rod that can fish in shallows. Strengthened lines can catch larger and deeper fish. Ooh. A lightweight rod suited to catching fish that live in the shallows. A small pool makes for limited reeling speed, however. I do want another engine. But first... That's 180. I think the first thing I want to do is catch five... Um... Was it sea base? I can't remember what they're called. F five of those fish. So I can get the hidden one. You say you go fish again and buy both rods? Well, I've already got this blue one. This one can catch coastal fish. But there's already a thing I can do. Um, there's something around one of the back of the islands in the demo. And if you catch five, five of the green fish, um, it will give you a special fishing rod. Because of hundred dollars to get that. I want to get a better lens to be honest. It makes a decent effort shining through the gloom. I I really want a better lens. Ship loan payments, twenty eight forty five remaining. Alright, we'll sleep until tomorrow. Undock. <sighs> I 
I don't think I can catch this. Yeah, that's shallow water. That's okay. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. But I'm not That's oceanic. Keep going. Can't catch them yet. I need to dredge for that, so I can't do that yet. That's shallows again. I need deeper, deeper water. See this thing here? Yeah, so basically I need five of the of the fish on this. You like my book out, thank you. I need I need five of the curved fish and I can get a a special fishing rod. There there are sea monsters in this game, Bizarro, yeah. You can upgrade your boat and, and everything. Coastal, you don't know what I'm looking for. What's this over here? No, this isn't what I'm looking for either. This is an eel. Um, let me show you the map real quick as well. Like, there's all these different like villages and, and such too. And I'm sure they'll all have their own side quests and the like. I think this is what I'm after. This is it, this is what I want. Big size one. So it's depleted. So I've got three, four. I've got five. Um, I'd like to keep that big one though. Oh, I will need. I need one of these later. Actually, I think I need two of them for a quest. Probably time to get back. I gotta be careful though, because my light source is not very good. Exposure to fog and other things increases panic. I'm also going the wrong way. I can make it round to this, the back of the island. <laughs> I feel like I'm pushing my luck really hard now. <laughs> like this early in the game. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Woo, that was close. A slab of rock juts from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish at its base. The rough shape has been chiseled away. I'll have to give up my big one, but whatever. Fine. So these are like a bit like a puzzle. So you need the right amount. But um, 
I saw one of the uh, one of the Team Seventeen staff streaming this game, so I, I know the solution to that one because they they did this section. There we go. Install. I don't like what the hell that was. Have a look at this. A handline reel wrapped in a length of stretchy, stretchy sinew. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. Fishing speed plus five. Coastal and shallow. So I can fish in both with that. Perfect, because I need some of these for a quest as well. Black grouper. The lighthouse towers above, waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Yeah. Go back to down. Cabin? Oh, encyclopedia. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you even here? Um, I've come to fish. I've come to see the area. I've come to meet people. Um, I've come to fish. I've come to see the area. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do you still favor movement? I think she says that no matter what, but I don't know. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Oh, hang on. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Yes. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? I will, yeah. The mayor hands you a small damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock work work worker will pay you upon delivery, so please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map even if you get if you get lost. Okay. Get the fish mugger. I had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me the order. They asked for one gulf flounder and one grey eel. Just bring them when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water just to fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Alright, so I'll just catch these another time. For now, let's just sell them all. There we go. And shipwright. Let's see. Get another engine. I get better light. Might just get a better engine, another engine, I think. Yeah. So let's see. Install time operational faulting. Someone's tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. What if they did? Seems to have given it more power than normal. So that's a better than normal engine. Good to know. Uh, let's undock and do the side quest before we sleep. It is fun. I've played the demo like two or three times. It's really nice. Hmm. 
What? Delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't save your shirt, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm, I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you could read it while you're at the war. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. So we've got the trader who can we, we can sell things to, like trinkets and the like. Oh, that's a storage locker. Uh, let's rest. Because, goddamn. We were awake for a whole 24 hours plus. I'm guessing there are certain things that will only appear when you've had, like, so little sleep. Hang on. Wait, it's because I'm holding it, that's why. I was holding X and I didn't need to, so it kept putting me back. Oof. I'll just wait. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. That's a big old fish. Man, we can barely even like stop and carry those. Let's see if we can get an eel. Uh, I think I saw them over this way. Dementia arc. <laughs> it feels it sometimes. Trophy size. Hi Inquisitor, welcome in. This is going really nice. It's perfect for me right now. I didn't sleep so well. Um, so this is this is super nice and just like chill. Um, oh, I forgot to start this. Have you got any fish for the order? Yes, I do. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order. Yeah, yeah. This one. Keep that one. Now to regular business. Yeah, let's sell all the fish. Every time you do something, time goes fast. That's when you rest. That happens. When you fish, time goes past. When you when you're fishing or like just sailing, time goes up. Time goes by. The mayor is walking quickly towards you, who seems to be in a good mood with the spring in his staff. <clears throat> Fantastic news, thanks partly to your efforts. Grit and Mary's growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwreck to expand the facilities. The old dry dock's operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. You might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Nice. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment ports for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for those projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Finding materials will allow you to upgrade my vessel. Got it. Uh. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Jesus, that door. People slamming it. Materials assigned to water upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. So, let's see. Plus two rod spaces. Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Good details. No. Oh. That's what you need. Ah, and it gives me this. Okay. I like that you can see what it does as well, that's nice. Modifies four rod spaces to also hold nets. Interesting. Nets, huh? Get more engines. Would they only be like mini engines? 
And you can get an extra light. I'm kind of keen to get the light, to be honest. So, so I can see better at night and just avoid... Avoid, um... Rocks and stuff. Upgrade your vessel to a tier 2 hull and adds 5 new cargo spaces. Hull can, also, can sustain 1 additional impact cost, 500. Um, so we started reading the book as well, so as we just sail around, that will, that will, uh, the percentage will build up and then we'll get like a permanent stat increase. So these are our side quests. Uh, we need to go flounder and a grey eel. We got the eel. Gold flounder. I don't think we've caught a gold flounder yet. Black grouper. The marrows. During the day. Just curious what some of these these creatures are. Look at that. Discovered six of 128. That's some kind of serpent on the right. It looks like a snake or something. A ray. Um, there's crabs. A jellyfish. Ooh. That thing had a lot of teeth right at the end there. Thank you for using the command, Sig. Thank you. Um, we might as well fish and get money. But we're really looking for that other thing, aren't we? Oh, go Flounder. We found our side quest. Encourage him, Bizarro. <laughs> a floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Yes, we do. We get fifty-four ninety-five for that quest. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. <laughs> you, DG, you lost your chance to name yourself Ghostbeard for this. You don't get to name your character. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what you know what night's like around here. Good luck. It's pronounced Bue. Don't know. I've never been on a ba a boat. I'm actually afraid of the ocean. Buoy? You just changed the pronoun- <laughs> It's pronounced this. Attempts pronunciation. Changes the pronunciation. <laughs> this is why people don't backseat sig. <laughs> I think you'll get motion sickness if you get that from VR. Wait, if... Wait, what? Whoa. Yes, I, I am afraid of, of the ocean. Oh no, and sea monsters. Okay, let's just head back to the... I get thassalophobia, yeah. Oh, I need a black grouper, don't I? This one I saw somewhere around here. 
that squid again. I don't need squid. It's okay. If, if you hit rocks and take damage, sometimes you'll lose fish. That So if, like, if, if this squid had been, like, here, I would have lost it. It would have gone overboard. So that can impact your, like, side quests. Oh, I know what you mean. Okay. I'm with you, villain. Well, I don't know about sinking, because we've got three, three health if you look at the top. I, I'm guessing that, like, I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing you lose a lot of money if you get KO'd, and that's the, that's what happens. You lose, like, everything you've got on you, and a lot of money or something. I remember, I have been on one... Oops. I went on the Maid of the Mist tour with Saf in Canada. I did do that. Oh, look, we got an abhorrent one. Look, it's all, like, gnarly and shit. But I really need this black grouper, wherever the hell it is. It's just more squid. Can we... Oh, is that it? Can we... Oh, we missed our chance, I think. They only come out at night, so... Something slithers into your cargo hold. It's corrupted this. It's infected now. I don't know what the infection means. Does that mean I have to throw it away? Otherwise, it'll damage the other fish. Bad idea to have a full stomach for my first time at a fishing boat. Ooh. Fisherman, was it? You look a touch troubled. Is the fog starting to get to you? Completely normal around here. Nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right as rain by the morning. Yeah, ship right. Yeah, your boat's looking a little banged up. I can repair it, please. Uh, repair all. Cost 30 money. 30, 30 dollar. You think it sells for less? Hi, T TX. Yes, I do have fish lot order. You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Aha. Now, this is the sort of specimen I to liven up my day. I wonder... He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately, delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. So we got like a little key item now. The man is looking at you through the cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took from the fishman took to the fishmonger, and I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Boy. What are we doing? <laughs> I can buy another light now. I think I will do. Yeah. That's so I can see better at night. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> Hi, Wam. 
Well, I'll be giving a code away uh, later in stream. I haven't quite figured out when. But, um, so basically I pre-ordered this, this game, um, some time ago, like, a while ago now. Um, but Team17 also gave me a code. Thank you, Team17. Um, and so I don't need it. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be giving it away. Hi, James. So we just finished reading that book. So if we look at the book, uh, here it is. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. So yeah. Welcome in, Wham. I hope you enjoy the game. Well, I, I don't need a second copy, TX, so. A man is standing in the doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery, periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. He carried items of great importance. Okay. As you could imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I merely need a few hours of your vessel to make necessary alterations. I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Alright. Yeah. It is a really nice chill game with like these, you know, creepy undertones, which uh, I really enjoy. <laughs> it's a nice game to just like chill out to. Oh look, we got another abhorrent one. Let's go over here. So this is how you dredge. Oh, it's a ring. Oh. So we can sell the ring for some, uh... Jesus, it got dark. Oh, man. Getting that second light was fucking amazing. Uh, and then it just started flickering out. <laughs> Oh, right, it's dark. We need that fish, don't we? We need that grouper thing. Was that it? Black grouper, I think? What's my pursuits? Yeah, black grouper. Sweet. We might as well fish more, aren't we? It's too big. What are we gonna do? The new crime boss Rocky City game? I don't know that one, sorry James. I like fishing games of fishing RL, I'm not sure why. I feel like the same way. I think it's a very different experience, I suppose. Oh look, we got some more side quests down here. Uh, first of all, let's go to the fishmonger. It's less stinky. <laughs> That's true. I'm sorry for the popping sound. That's my, um, water ball. Have you got any fishing for the fish for the holiday? Yes. Hi, Looney. I will give you the black grouper. 
Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I've got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you could get it, f get it fixed at the shipwright. Yes, I will. You should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere. Then come back after a day or two to check on it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found in around here. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, bad book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. We can buy these for a hundred more dollars. Kind of want it. Kind of want it. But for now, we'll wait. Uh, let's start reading the next book. How are you doing, Looney? Is Dredge finally released? This this is the this is the full release. It's that it came out today. Some equipment could use some fixing. We can repair it. Does it? What needs fixing? Repair all. Oh right, this needs fixing. Silly me. Okay. Oh, I forgot to sell my fish. Sell all fish. 144. Sweet. The Builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's difficult. It's peaceful, mostly. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit too. Just stack it up at Steel Point where you have anything. When you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. The lighthouse keeper. <laughs> How you doing, Looney? Do you know any, any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of the Greater Marrow where the current carries the wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Alright. go. Let's... Wait until the morning. Select a crab pot. Finally having a good start of the day. Uh, I'm okay. I, I, I slept horribly, but... I'm super grateful to be playing, like, such a nice, chill game, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right, I don't remember how much wood this lady needed, like one or two I think. Double look soon. It's too chill help. <laughs> All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little, you pull a little closer. Ooh, look at this. Lots of nice stuff. Citrine wing. Scrap. Old iron chain. Right, that's all we need from that. Now, if memory serves, the island she wants to. Ooh, there was lightning over there. The island she wants to move to is. Look, there's a, there's an extra cross back there. 
Well, if, that one's technically closer, so let's investigate that first. Oh, this is the thing you do at night, I think. Oh, look, there's a there's a thing. Over there. I'm not gonna have room for this. Oh, it's an abhorrent as well. Oh, it looks so cool. Um, can we? Did it like this? Yeah, I can do it. Just, just. Let's go back and sell that. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing for your eyes can focus on them. Gold stones does not respond to your touch, so I think you have to touch those stones at night. Did you the puzzle master? No. <laughs> not puzzle master, no. Exactly sick. Nice relaxing way. this thing. I get 140 and 38 cents for this fish. Why did I have bad sleep? I don't know. I just haven't been sleeping well lately. It still hasn't got anything, that's okay. Let's go back around to those rocks. Get some sleep, so Get some sleep. Just enjoy the sounds of these waves. I know I am. see the light that's coming off of those rocks we saw before it's not it's actually further than the rocks look the stone hums quietly yeah let's place the hand on it. it does not respond to your touch maybe we need like a corrupted fish in a in a ship as well I'm a bit nervous about going down here. <laughs> we found a key. Yeah. Oh no. We're actually under attack. Time to go. Time to go. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> what was that? It was a humongous lantern fish. I've seen that thing in the demo. So I kind of knew it was coming when when i saw the the boat in the background because the boat is actually did you see the the boat in the in the distance 
That's actually an illusion created by the giant lanternfish. But I didn't expect it to come over and uh, and actually attack me from that distance. I thought I was still safe. Whew. <laughs> Ruin mansion. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seemed impatient. <gasps> well, you have something, don't you? Show me. The key. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow would seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have travelled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision. You stagger back briefly. Ability unlocked haste. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map when you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? How long have you lived here? Do you know who owned these relics? Where should I look for the relics? Take a look at the trinkets. The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know about? Yes, haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, they may put a great deal of stress on your engines. There are other powers. So I guess we can use haste to like just GTFO if we're in danger. How long have you lived here? Mm. Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman as was my father before me. But two decades ago I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavours. I found this island. It has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. <clears throat> okay. Well, that one's greyed out. Why is that? Hmm. Oh, it's because we've had all the dialogue. Nice. It's a nice little thing that they do that. Like, imagine just being, just, you know, like, it, it, it's nice that they, they they should give you a little prompt to say that, oh, you've you've read all the dialogue from this. Yes, who? He looks at you for a moment. A look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Do not own these relics. Where should I look for the relics? Take a look at these trinkets. Oh yeah, he doesn't care about the the, 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 the rings and stuff. Raskus, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Let me give you a shout out. Raskus, how was your stream? How was your, uh, your art? This adds speed to your engine, but increases panic and engine heat. Select with L. We did six hours of animation. Wow, that's awesome. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. Yo, yeah, well, guys, if uh, if you want to check out some animator in Blender. Oh, right, yeah. I was kind of forgetting you know Blender, yeah. Check out Raskus. Raskus, Raskus is a huge Mass Effect fan and uh, and was doing some animation in Blender. You enter a, blight, a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that- No. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes are what they used to be. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. I'll purchase any special trinkets you have. Have you got anything nice with you today? I do, as a matter of fact. Thank you for that raid. Rastos, thank you. Um, if you're new to the stream, my name's DG, um, I stream six days a week, Thursday to Tuesday. Sometimes I do challenge runs. In the past I beat Sekiro with one finger, I can play two games at once. Well, I can play two copies of Dark Souls 1 at the same time. Uh, but mostly I just like to advertise and promote games for people. And just do chill let's plays and just have fun. Um, we recently beat Resident Evil 4 Remake, first playthrough on hardcore mode. Um, I'll probably be doing professional difficulty soon-ish. Well same. Thank you very much, Raskus, thank you. Hello, is everything okay? 
Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see. My only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks, and all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you were able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. There's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days, what an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, howling it into the wind. These days, I almost feel like I can stand. Oh, that's it, thanks. Raskus, get, get some rest. Take care of yourself. Um, do do whatever you got to do. Um, whoa, what the hell was that? So I think using haste increases my panic, so that makes it like more dangerous. Good to know. Okay. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. Tux needs Tux. No worries, no worries. Get some sleep, get some food. Do we gotta do? Also, Inquisitor, thank you for that follow. Sorry I missed it. My uh, speakers are really quiet at the moment. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that the flanks that flanks the town. She walks towards the docks with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. Who are you expecting? Your engine, it sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Does the eye above show monsters? I do, it doesn't show monsters, I think. I think it's more like... Um, you're more likely to, to have rocks spawn in in front of you at night. It basically makes the game more dangerous at night the more panicked you are. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Okay, right. Don't have any of that. I need. I need some repairs. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes, and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. Ah, uh, okay. If sea fog shapes, rest. Careful. Nightmares. You stumble past him in the town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think the the panic is for. Right, yeah, please repair my ship. Thanks. Dry dock. So I can give some materials. Oh, yeah, so I, I can work on my ship or I can do another side quest. To be honest, I would like to do my side quest. Storage. Whoa, look at that. Halogen spotlight. Basic but solidly bright light. It's long range makes it ideal for spotting hazards. I want it. It costs 275. I can afford it. But I don't have the space. Look, I think I don't think I can equip it yet. Put some storage. Yeah, so I need to put. I need to get this. I'm do that first. Then I'll do the the other side quest afterwards. There. One light space. Cool. She pulls a book from the toolbox nearby and hands it to you. Oh, really? That's lovely. Um, cargo? Yeah. And I, I might as well put this in storage for now. Yeah. And yeah, another book. Correct engine operation. 
Let's see. Search for relics. Find the belt buckle near Little Marrow. Let's check on my crab pot. Probably do with buying another crab pot as well, to be honest. Sweet. Look, we got we got a big crab and a little crab. And honestly, I think that's all we need for that side quest. I do have fish for the order. That is perfect. There's a big crab. <laughs> Fishmonger wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. These'll do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop deformities. Hi, Kid, kid Cody. Cody. How you doing? They go mad. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? <laughs> well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, or any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Alright. Crazy, crazy cat. <laughs> so let's have a look here. Map. We need to do... Ooh, we need to go around the back of Little Marrow. Waiting for the launch of the game. Do you know when it's supposed to launch? I don't know. Are you looking to get it on S Steam? What was that sound? Oh, somebody outside. If you're looking to get it on Steam, my advice would be... Um, Google when the platform updates in your time zone. Um, like I'm playing on PlayStation, so... It's like live now, but uh, it's also on Switch and I think Xbox. I don't really know. I don't have an Xbox, so I, I can't say. Wait for the Steam version. Yeah, so I would Google when Steam updates its store for whatever country you live in. Uh, for me. That's typically 6 p.m. GMT, I think. It's been a while. But I, I'm primarily a console gamer. Um, ooh, what's this? A bolt of cloth. A decent length of cloth that's damp but hasn't started to deteriorate yet. Could be used for vessel renovations. Oh, nice. Belt buckle. We got that side quest. I want some scrap, but I don't know if I've got the room for it. Oh, it's a little bit of scrap. Yeah, there's no way I've got the room. It's because of these big old, big old fish. I should probably store these away. Am I winning? Hi, Link. You see the fish, the the boat in the background. That's the giant eel, is that? It's not the giant eel, the giant um, anglerfish. Wood? Oh yeah, I can get a piece of wood. special? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I want, I want to talk to the grieving father. About the belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man, yes. Give the belt buckle to the man. This is 
This, this is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I've not any money to pay you. But this might hold some value to you. Sure. That's fine. Thanks. Messages. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of the Great Amara. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around a few, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some notes from the boat at Redaming Ceremony. He's paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Yeah. With good reason, I'm sure. I need an abhorrent thing, and also two lumber and two scrap. Yeah, don't you go out on me. <laughs> You're not allowed to go out on me. I need to sell these big fish, they're too big. Whoa, that just, uh, okay. The little baby crab. Let's pick up the, uh, the thing as well, I found. So I'll have to put that there. Yeah, yeah. So I want, I want to pick my net back up. I have picked it up. I guess that's just bugged. <laughs> Fishmonger. Sell those. Um, let's go to the dry dock. Oh, we've got enough materials to get this upgrade now. <laughs> We're really not uh, <laughs> doing that one side quest. Four net spaces, additional slots configured. You don't have to apologize for it, Pizarro. <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. A lot a lot of my uh A lot of my viewers lurk, so don't worry about it. Given the time in which I stream, a lot of people will be going to bed. Then they'll wake up with, they'll wake up uh, and come back later. Yeah. I've got these spaces too. Man. I don't know if there's any point to having this. Fishing speed plus 44. Fishing speed plus those. I guess it stacks. Like if I can get another one, I guess it just like stacks. That makes sense to me. Ship right. Like if I buy this for seventy five, that's what I want. Install time four hours lasts for a day. This simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed. A wise investment for those that want to explore the oceans. Ah, so that's when we want to go like really far out to like a different town or something. Good to know. Okay. But now, I really want to get some of these side quests done. Particularly this one. So I'm going to make that my priority because I keep not doing it. <laughs> I keep getting the materials to upgrade my boat and prior and doing that instead. But I um I want to I want to sort this lady out on a dev quest. Oh, this little rainbow light thing. I think that means we get we can get an abhorrent fish, which is another side quest. So I might as well give it a, tr a try. There you go. Look at him. He's got several eyes. Gill plates dotted with eyeballs. So so so. Oh God. So plut. Superfluous. Oh god. I know I can think in I know I've heard people say this word and yet I can't I can't do it. 
superfluous. God, that was effort. But scanning frantically, all eyes see right through you. Whoa, we got another one. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've ever seen before. Let's go back. Hi, Sunday. Have you got any of the fish moods? Yes, I do. I don't know which one sells for more. <laughs> Which one, which one do you reckon sells for more? That one's bigger. But I'll give him this one. The one that looks like it's from Simpsons. Hi, Blue Speed. What's so, up? Fishmonger takes the apparent ab aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his, ha his hands around its slimy body. Oh. Yes. This should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Oh, so he gave me money for it anyway. That's good. Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sow what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature quickly now. He's uh, getting impatient there. Eh? The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. Well, <laughs> cabin, let's have a look. This is. So we've done all of that, we still need to do this. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish. Bolts will roll fish 10% more effectively. Engines provide 5% more movement speed. Right, we're gonna wait for that. Uh. Um, repair, repair my crab net. I'm not going to buy that yet. I'm going to wait until I've got a bit more money. Prioritize the the other lady's quest first. I feel like my character, like, look, their, their eye is still quite wide. Let's give them another day of rest. I want to see what happens. Are you enjoying this chat? Delicious water, uh, apple flavored water. Yeah, that eye's gone now. Very chill and interesting. You're loving it? Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was worried that the that this game would like be a bit of a hit or miss with with your home. But I know I like it, and if I like it, that's generally a good sign, I guess, that chat's gonna like it too. Let's look at the map real quick. Yeah, I need to get the materials up to, up to that island. Uh, I don't really need a ring, but money can't hurt. Let's get them. Some earrings. Oh look, there's a shipwreck over there. Not cloth. I don't really need cloth at the moment, but it can't hurt to get. Oh, it's another metal. There, I wasn't paying attention.
Hey Nikki, how you doing? I'm not gonna have space for this, I think. No, I could just fit that there. I'm thinking ahead of like what I need. I don't need this. But again, money can't hurt. I'm, I'm trying to get the scrap and the wood that I need. Wow, that's big. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that. This might. Oh, I can make it work. Just. Just relax until sleepy time. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm very sleep deprived, but we're playing a really wonderful, chill game. Now I need like two big scrap. Yeah, there we go. Guys, check out Nikki. Nikki's amazing, honestly. Super fun vibes, is Nikki. I think I can drop off the two wood as well. Yeah, material pile. Yeah, I can do that. So I can make it easy for myself. Perfect. There we go. No me. No. What are you talking about? Uh oh. Somebody uh honking the horn at me. Phew, I don't want to go over there. It's it's coming closer. That's that's a that's a giant anglerfish, Nikki. <gasps> oh, it's see me. I'm going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm I'm peacing out, mate. I'm not going to use haste. There's a, there's a very specific reason I'm not going to use haste. It's because A, I didn't need to. No, it's, it's because I have to stop moving to do it. And then there's a chance I would charge into a rock. So <laughs> yeah, it's a f horror fishing game. It's a Lovecraftian-esque horror fishing game. It's mostly really chill. But there are sea monsters and the like. <laughs> yes, there are. There are sea monsters. Uh, I need metal. Got all this scrap, and I don't know what to do with it. I would not like playing this game. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice and just honestly, just really chill. But then you'll have moments where it's like, oh god. Are you afraid of the ocean as well, Nikki? Rest. You don't think I need to keep my light selected to keep it on? I imagine you're right, but I still have to stop moving. You know? <laughs> like... Yeah, so I can do that. But I would still possibly hit a rock, because the rocks can spawn out of nowhere. Call, call me being cautious? I don't know, I'm just playing it. <laughs> you new Twitch and clicked on this game. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, in this stream we just chill, we vibe. Um, I like to promote games for people. The developers and um, publishers and do let's plays and reaction stuff. Hi Sue. Better cautious than capsize, yeah. I'm just terrified of the ocean, a big baby scary stuff. Yes, yeah, same Nikki. I'm scared of the ocean too. 
spiders in the ocean are what scare me. Perfect. I need one more of them. Can I squeeze in another? I can. <laughs> we have the same thing. Oh, that's bizarre. I was afraid of spiders. Yeah. By the ocean, specifically? Sea monsters? I don't know. It's a phobia. <laughs> Delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. It's not. <laughs> yeah, but at least I survived the anglerfish element. <laughs> Did you ever consider <laughs> all those tales? of people who have who've like supposedly died to sea monsters why? it's because they didn't flee when they had the chance <laughs> look at the teeth on that thing tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed crooked teeth the top row are flattened like human molars Landing headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Would you buy my squid? Uh, let's talk to the builder. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Uh, <laughs> I need to fit her on the ship. Good riddance to you, Great Mara. I'm onward bound. Okay, let's go to the dry dock. I need a wood and two metal. Ooh. What does this do? Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold engines. I could get faster just by default. That sounds great. Like, I'd, with this, I wouldn't even need to use, like, haste. Just kind of base speed increase. That's great. Yeah, the, the design of the mutant fish is dope, and the artwork in general is just fantastic. The characters look surreal. For me, it's the vast nothingness, but also the fact that you don't know what's lurking. So I have an overactive imagination of monsters just emerging from eating me. I, I would agree with pretty much all of that for myself, Nikki. Except for me, it's not about the vast emptiness. I think, like, the emptiness only, to me, suggests more of, like, maybe it is the emptiness, that like, what else is out there? You know, like, like, I was once too scared to go into a swimming pool. Like, j this is just an example. So, like, there was this swimming pool in the apartment complex where I lived in Canada, and there was nobody in the pool, nobody whatsoever. But I couldn't go into it, like, th because I was so terrified that there was, like, just something lurking and waiting to to just grab me um, or attack me. I, I just couldn't. I was terrified. So maybe it is about nothing. Is, I don't know. You can't see that far, but something you can see that far, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I get you, Nikki. Yeah. I think we're on the same wavelength, yeah. I kind of like scaring myself in VR though. 
If you've ever played, um, what's it called? Uh, whoa, look at him, he's square boy. Baggy skin per perforated with countless cavities. A singular shapeless mass spreads underneath. Right, so let's go sell him. There's a VR game. <sighs> Do you know those little PSVR mascots, the little robots, right? There's a VR game where you do these water levels and there's one stage where you're going through like a small cave. You're underwater and at the end of the cave it turns out it's this, this eye of this whale and like, I wonder if I can show you. Let me sell these. Let me, let me see if I can show you. Let's go find it on YouTube real quick. No, I don't think I could find it. Anyway, let's keep going. Right. Let's take our passenger out of here. So anyways, like, you're going through this small cave underwater, and the, the end of the cave is, like, the eye of this whale, and the, the eyelid opens up. And the whale like swims away and you go out through the cave and it opens up to like the wide ocean and then you go towards this like one rock that's like a good like 20 feet ahead of you and there's nothing there other than like this one rock and then this huge whale just like swims up and swallows you it's really scary <laughs> good morning guy <laughs> Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back any time. She reaches into a toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. <laughs> Take these. Always good to have on hand. Keep getting gifted these, and I don't actually know how valuable they are. <laughs> there we go. I'm doing okay, guy. I'm just very tired. I'm very sleep deprived. All right, we go search for relics. That's uh, our current side quest now. Can we go to, should we? Oh, we need to go to Gale Cliffs now. There's a little X on the map down there. But it's almost night, so let's go back. Can I upgrade my ship more first? I feel like that would be a wise move to upgrade my ship before we sail to the next town. Also, there's those rocks we need to see at night. Yeah. Oh, Saf's, Saf's going away to an art convention, actually, today, Element. He's going to Nottingham, um, she's gonna have a stall and she'll be selling her art and stickers and prints and, um, buttons, keychains, I think. Cold stone does not respond. Yeah. That is a big rare. It's a, oh, there's that fish again. <laughs> I think we'll leave now. Don't want to break my engines. 
I have Vanser, I've caught some big ones. I have indeed. Slide between these islands. Do that, the rocks just spawn out of nowhere. Fishmonger. Sell them. And storage. What are these research parts? A curious looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. I need one piece of wood for that. And two for that one. Can I look at my... Yes, I can. Can I just, like, pop that? No. It's like... I don't really know what this, this metal is for. Is it for this? Not sure. What I'm thinking is, why don't we max out these and upgrade the hull before we go to the next island? also get that now. Yes, and I can comfortably afford it as well. Uninstall. I think it's for research, because... Well, yeah, I, I, that's what I mean, Van, so like... <laughs> I don't know what it is for. <laughs> It should be 44. Don't install it, I'm not gonna lose it, am I? Hang on. Yeah, okay, it would make a lot of sense to get this upgrade before we buy that fishing net. Let's do that. just came out of nowhere. Oh, cause it, I guess because it's night. <laughs> Chip right, let's repair that. Should be safe out here. It should be. Disturbed water low. Oh, it's oceanic. I can't fish in oceanic waters yet. That's okay. Almost day. Let's gather more materials. Hello, Mesa.
telling him. Perfect, let's go back now. Three pieces of wood. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Let's just see what we yeah. Engine spaces. And this. And this. Yeah. Perfect, right. Oh, this is refined metal. That's five new cargo spaces. All can sustain one additional impact. That'd be fantastic. Passively catches fish. You do need to repair it, but it passively catches fish. It's fantastic. I can also get some little, like, mini engines or something. Let me go back. Hoping she'll have changed stock now. Okay. Let's. Select the trawling net with the L1 and lower it with square. Nets catch things as you move, but need repairing every so often. Right. Oh, we should probably sleep as well. Just for good measure. Rest. Oh, I need rest. <laughs> Take that. Feel like the fisherman who's had no sleep in days. <laughs> I guess we just have to leave it out and just see where it goes. Oh, we got a fish! I need more materials. Did you play in Dredge IRL? <laughs> Man, maybe that's why I couldn't sleep. Oops. Oh, you'd have to thank me, Messer. You'd have to thank me. My jaw. Oh my god, look at the skull down there. Can I, can I, oh, I can't look at the menu yet. It, it won't let me, like, examine the inventory. 
I guess. Oh, no, I'm just being silly. Oh, look, it has its own little thing. That's cool. Talos, thank you for the follow. I was pressing the wrong button, silly me. <laughs> so you can, in effect, you, you can like catch fish with your fishing rod and also just sail around and, and get fish like that too. Good to know. Wolfies. Don't know where to find refined metal. I'm kind of worried that I won't be able to. Like, like I, I literally can't right now. If you say me. It's not a good uh, a good time to be out at night. <laughs> I tell you now. Uh, head towards the lighthouse. There's our old friend. No, no, no! Keep going! Keep. Going. I'm turning the cam- oh no, that's not a good look. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's just a tornado. I thought that was like steam coming from another ship. We still being chased? Yeah, we're being chased. <laughs> I wish I could turn the camera around. <laughs> oh, crap. It's just a giant shark out of nowhere. <laughs> There's the lantern fish. Ooh, brood squid. <laughs> Let's go between these rocks, just try and shake it. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We need to repair these. Uh, net. Look at all these. Sell them. Eight hours remaining of the net. I was close. No, we're fine. <laughs> Right, repair. We're chilling. Oh, I've got I've got a thing here. To cargo. Right on. The angler shark combo we yeah. are. Like, I can find the metal in the wood, but I, do, I, I haven't seen refined metal anywhere, so I don't know. Let's, uh, rest. I'll rest more until it actually... The eye is like how psychotic he's going, you know. We'll give him a couple days vacation. Man, I wish I could do that. <laughs> Can refined metal be scrapped? Not that I've uh, crafted, not that I've seen, but that's not a bad suggestion. Maybe on a different island, because uh, look, we still have four more islands to to explore.
would probably be a good idea to cross the ocean while uh, while it's day <laughs> as well. Sell those. Get out of there. Wood. Oh. Yeah, I like I like that as well, Bizarro. It's like it's it's really a nice chill game and then there are periods of time which is like oh fuck. Um it it goes from like naught to sixty very quickly, you know. I like it. It's so far away. <laughs> it's so far away. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it in time. Hang on. Does that speed up the day as well? Maybe if I do this, I can make it work. Oh shit, my engine almost blew. I think we'll, we'll just, we'll be fine. We'll just, just make it. Black sea bass. Ooh. Also, oh, we missed a chance to fish. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't, Cyclone. <laughs> Storage. Oh, look, retired whaler. Are there any shipwrecks around here? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, the devil. Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gill Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past packed and packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats. We couldn't make it out. Nobody see or hear from them since. Mm, they got attacked, huh? Ingfell used to be a whaling town. Emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Uh, no, good thanks. Ah. Do you need help with anything? <laughs> I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we considered aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly aged conger eels. Normally, we bi bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Uh, what can you tell me about the cliffs? Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought on the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed, their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Do you know of any odd characters? Mm. Have you heard the tale of the Magran? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Magran, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magran the Fisherman. One day, the town awoke to find all the boats, nets and lions had been slashed in the night. An old Magran was nowhere to be found. 
Nor has he been since. Okay. Where can I sell my fish? We catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. That's great. I wouldn't be surprised if there is some kind of Moby Dick-esque monster. To be honest. Element. I would not be surprised. <laughs> or like the, the whale from uh, Pinocchio. That used to terrify me as well. Remember to hydrate? I'll, I will hydrate, thank you. I'll just pick up this bottle. And then we'll read it after I hydrate. Cabin. What's that? Artifact manifest. Grand prize vessel owner port. Purchased from the antiquarian a little marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from undisclosed shipwreck, has the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in re reasonable condition, has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism, pending inspection by locksmith. Carved wooden tribal mask, said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain and protection from evil spirits, traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. Bone china 12 piece tea set. Acquired from the eastern dealer, do not use. Jar of Earth. A jar containing Earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Aww. Let's get the shipwrecky stuff, I guess. Ooh, that's new. What is this? Is that dynamite? Is that TNT? No, <laughs> that's not TNT. The icon it had was though, because look, this looks like I can blow it up. Clearly this would take some, yeah. Ooh. Tiger mar mackerel. Mackerel. Well, we need some explosives. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards ah. you. Oh, uh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? The place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? Do you know how I could... <laughs> shipwreck. I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I can help move to Ingfell. Oh. It's not that simple. My brother would never, you see. I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We are in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest, stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without him. But he give it back to him. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down to its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you know how, where to find it, it's a large whale bone crest. It would mean a lot in the world to me. I'll look for it. Please be careful, God. Um, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Alright, so that's the crest. It patrols the passageways of the cliffs, but its lair is somewhere towards the center by the large waterfall. <laughs> now I'm getting nervous. I've marked the area in your map, perhaps you could look there for it, but if it's too troublesome, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm actually nervous ah. about this. You probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives for the whaling operations to see. Nasty stuff. But the whale's all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. What else do you want? Do you know of any shipwrecks? Someone that used to live here kept their ship moored at the base of the cliff until it was struck by some falling rocks and sunk to the bottom. 
They were devastated at the loss. We all were. It was a beautiful boat, decorated with all manner of memorabilia from their travels. At low tide, I can still see what's left of the masthead poking through the waves. When it's low, when it's low tide, low tide would be with the peak of the noon, right? Is that low tide when it's noon? Good luck, Messer. Take care. Mm. They're being consumed from the core by that hateful serpent. Have you seen it? Nobody believed me, not until it started devouring our foundations, opening up chasms beneath our homes. It was nightmarish, waking in the night to the sound of a creature slithering somewhere underneath. It seems to have turned its attention elsewhere, but not before it took everything from me. What else do you want to know? Tell me more about the creature. It's been burrowing tunnels through the base of the cliffs. You can see the gigantic holes it leaves just below the surface. As it forces its way out, it often causes rock falls. So if you plan on going in there, keep an ear out. Should it catch sight of you? Well, you should keep it. You should be able to outrun it. It's quite slow, provided you can navigate the passageways. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want, I want my storage locker, thank you. I'm gonna put the wood and stuff in there for now. And the other metal. Did I grab, drop my uh, crab pot? Research, oh, this is what you use research for. Oh my God, I didn't see that this whole time. Oh my God. So this is how we research other parts and stuff. <gasps> Okay, we got nine to use. Volcanic and shallow. Coastal, no, we can do that already, plus 50%. Hydraulic rod, mechanically assisted reels allow for catching significantly larger species. Ooh. Oceanic, we need that to catch oceanic fish. Mangrove and coastal, that's all of them, wow. Abyssal. Oh, I feel like I should get that. Improved outboard engine. Efficient propeller design makes this reasonable engine for those in budget. Yes. Pots. Uh, I'm not too fussed about upgrading my crab pots yet. Mangrove and shallow. Coastal. I see, I see. Well, I don't think I need to upgrade these either yet. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the Mariana Trench. For now, let's focus on the engine and the rods. Hydraulic rod now available in stores. Oh, I still have to buy it. Okay. For sale. Hey, Brad. Thank you, thank you. Get that one as well. High quality components and excellent craftsmanship. Reliable engine trusted by seafarers. Oh, look at this one. What's this? Relatively new design. This unit propels water through the system more efficiently than outboard propeller setups. So that's that's an engine that costs is one square. I can actually fit those onto my ship already. Whereas this is like a big boy. Speed, 26.3. Hydraulic rods. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I see that answer. I, I, I get that. <laughs> it, it told me as much, yes. Dual propeller system increasing speed. Oh. Let's get this one. Why is it only one? Oh, do I need to research more? Oh, I'll have to put, like, each gear in it, I see. There we go. Makes sense. I'm gonna save up for this one, I guess, next. I need this one anyway. We just get the biggest, dirtiest engine, <laughs> like, <laughs> as soon as possible. I do need coastal as well, actually, so let's get this. Yeah, I need I need a coastal, not a coastal, sorry. I need a, um... oh, psh, oceanic is what I was thinking. Oh well, I just wasted those two for now, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Improved troll net. Oh, that costed one. I could have got that. <laughs> Alright. 
for now. I need to find somebody who'll buy my fish. It wasn't level one though? Uh, I don't think so, no. God, I almost broke my thing again. Traveling merchant. Ahoy there! You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. But well, we should get along like a house on fire. Huh? I'm a traveler and a merchant. All rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take one aboard and I'll sell them at the next town I come across. <laughs> Likewise, I'll haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Yes. Um, let's see. Fish market. Fish gallon. Let's uh, sell all of these fish. You want to sell? I can also stock a crab pots. How much do you sell crab pots for? 100, same price. Floating dock. Mm. It might be used to dry docks at other ports, but we can make the same upgrades to your boat here at the floating dock. Okay, so that, yeah, that's the same. Storage. Let's put my wood here. Shipyard. Most of the gear is super heavy, so I don't off offload it. Every pontoon. But it come aboard and see the equipment I've got. Right. That costs 460. Install time 3 hours. Operational fishing speed 50%. I mean, it, it does. I, I already have these that do the same. So I, I really don't need this. Plus, I don't have space for it. <laughs> This is what I want. Oceanic fish. So I can catch like sharks and stuff like that. It would mean I'd have to uninstall this. But I can do that. Cost 300, but I can get this. Ooh, we've got a bigger engine here as well. 300 to get this little engine. But it'll give us an extra 9.5 kilometer. That's 15.8. What's this? It costs 500. Oh no. It costs 500. <laughs> I need that to upgrade my boat. That's expensive. Storage. What's her side quest? She's got some some she's got a side quest for us. Hey again, come by for a chat. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler. Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you can share your info. Yeah, yeah. The fish I have left to track down are all fish, gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and coal. Oh, colocanth. I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Okay. Given that all fish has, given that all fish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they live in reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of gill cliffs would suit them. Uh, gulper eels. I know the gulper eels live in the deepest depths imaginable. You have to get some specialist gear to catch one of them. All right. These guys are legitimately scary. They hunt in murky, swampy waters, using the shade of trees as cover. Actually, I have no idea where colocants might be, but they have a primordial feel about them to them, don't they? They do, as a matter of fact. Prehistoric fish. Is there anything else about those rare fish you want to find? What about Gale Cliffs? Well, there's Ingfell. Just across the bay, which is a dreary little whaling town. The folks here, there are always in need of something, which keeps me in business. The residents are always talking about the cliffs. Most seem afraid. Frankly, I'm not sure why they stay. Occasionally, I hear deep rumblings from within the rocks. I don't hang around here for too long. Yeah, always. I like to keep moving along. The merchanting is secondary to travelling, really. I'm more of a merchanting traveller. I, have to see, I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, which is all, only sometimes nice. 
Is there anything else? Okay. Do you see strange things? Mm. Plenty, but I try not to dwell on them. You would go crazy, you know. But hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them right away. The right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Well, perhaps they are, and they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. Alright. I'll be going now. On dock. Hmm. Should I put my crab pot down? Plenty here? Yeah, let's do it. I need money fast. <laughs> I need to Oh, can I what's this? Can I I need the 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 metal that she sells? And I need to buy a bunch of upgrades as well. Or is this nothing? It's just cosmetic. Okay. Let's crash into it. And that. I need your diamond dynamite. Diamond dynamite? I said dynamite. I heard you used to make explosives. Aye, I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. I wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant, but it got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to rustle up some strong enough to clear those debris. Ah, but I'm not sure. I don't have the energy these days. I'd have use. Alright, I think on it some more, but I make no promises. Dynamite. <laughs> has he changed his mind already? Has he... No. Okay, let's sleep. I don't really want to be going out in this area at night just yet. You're just fishing as a spook. There is spooky stuff as well, Brad. Um. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oceanic Perch. That's nice. I need to make some fat money. <laughs> Oops. He is the other guy's brother, Vanser, yeah. Such a hard time with this. Look at him! Wreckfish. Let's see here. Fish market. Sell that. Nothing in the net. Mm. yard. Uh, let's repair the net as well. So my my objective right now, I'm thinking, is let's see, five hundred to buy this. I'm wondering if there's a, a, a set amount of research parts in the game. No, no, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Find metal. Line. I want to buy this. I want to buy like two of that. <laughs> and this. I need lots of money. There yeah, there's supposed to be a sea monster somewhere around this island or something. 
I don't quite know where, but I need to get my hands on some dynamite. Whoa, look at that decaying black mouth. I wonder if she'll buy it or not. Maybe she won't buy the cursed fish. The abhorrent fish. Um, a baron? I can't remember what it's called. Let's find out. Oh no, she'll buy it. She'll buy it. I was just wondering, maybe it's just the one crazy guy who will, uh, who, um, will buy them. Floating dog. Uh, shipyard. I should prioritize upgrading my ship so I can carry more fish. To, to make more money. Hmm, that makes sense. Okay, buy that, pop that in there. I need two wood still. And I definitely don't have wood right now. Yeah, yeah no, that's fine, that's fine. I still need to make some money. A lot of money. Uh oh. Oh, a new crab species. I'll take that. I know there's some fish over here. I don't want to go too far. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> Looks like a jet skull or something. There's a thing. We mean that thing. Yeah, the light going out IRL will be absolutely terrifying. <laughs> this whole this whole thing would just be like I'm I'm really uh, not happy about this right now. <laughs> See, I need the oceanic fish in the top right with the triangle button. Oh, so this is like. I can check my net, I can check my cargo, and I can look at the cabin. And the encyclopedia. So this is Gale Cliffs. So there's aberrations for each of these. Um, there's all. Look at this Hadal. I don't even know what that means, man. Oh, is that, is that, is that the color can? No. I don't think so. Um, volcanic mangrove. Let's look at Gale Cliffs. No way, is, it, is that where I am? Yeah, I'm in Gale Cliffs. Oh, can I turn that one? Jellyfish? Not caught, it's a coastal thing. Only appears at night. So, yeah, we still need to get jellyfish at night. Oh my god, did you see that? Look! Look, chat! Oh my... Oh, that's a... <gasps> it went right underneath us. Whoa! <laughs> It went like right underneath.
Hello, can I can I be safe here, please? <laughs> right, yeah, I, I can put the mouth. <laughs> Need a bigger fishing rod. I need a bazooka. Is what I need. Mm. He's budzy. I don't know what Sunless Sea is, but I, but could you tell me in Discord? Uh, repair. I need I need more money. Fish market. Mm. Shipyard is what I'm after. Oh. Shipyard. Shipyard is where you do like repairs. Repair all. There we go. My halogen light is fixed. Woo! Right. Oh, we can buy more metal. Oh, it's gone. Why is that gone? That's weird. The little thing's gone there. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe there isn't a fixed amount in the game. I don't know. I'm a bit worried that I might have missed that forever now. Oh well. Let's see. Um, so next purchase I need to make from her is I would like a couple of these. So I need 600 in total for that. And then I need a 410 for that. I need to get some wood. I need to upgrade my ship as my priority right now. Holy shit! That just came out of fucking nowhere, bro. And I've just taken two more damage. After I just repaired that damage. I guess we're not leaving this village for a while. <laughs> yeah, and stay there.